Hello everyone. My name is Xu Mei. I'm a PhD candidate from Southern Medical University in Guangzhou, China. Today, I want to share some results about our research. The title is Bei Jia Jian PO Enhance Anti-Tumor Effects of CD8 Positive T Cells in Hepatosanuna Carcinoma. As reported, liver cancers are the fourth most common cause of cancer-related deaths and ranked sex in terms of incident causes worldwide. Therefore, no treatment strategy against HTC are still needed. Bejia Jian Piu is a well-known and a classical traditional Chinese medicine, which can against HTC. Major components of Bejia Jian Piu include Wagnum, the rainbow, Uzonic acid, and all of which have been reported to regulate tumor immunity. Our previous studies also showed that the beta GMPU could inhi inhibit proliferation and metastasis of HTC in mice through regulating wound beta cutting, AKT GSK3 beta snail pathway. As we know, anti tumor immunity is very important during the development and the progression of HCC. There are some anti-tumor immune cells, such as macrophage, NK cells, and CD8 positive T cells. However, however, with the PHRGN peel has anti-tumor immunity in HCC has never been reported. To, ex to explore the effect of beta GMPO on anti tumor immunity, anti tumor effects of beta GMPO in immunodeficient Barbie C nut mice and immunocompetent Barbie C mice were compared using the H22 tumor cell model. The results showed that mice treated with beta GMPO had uh, reduced cell growth compared to the controls, suggesting that beta GMPO ex exerted anti tumor effects in both immunodeficient and uh, immunocompetent mice. However, tumor weights and volumes in the immunocompetent BBC mice were lower than those in the immunodeficient BBC nut mice after treatment with beta GMPO. Notably, the weight of tumors in the beta GMPO treated Barbie C nut mouse was uh, approximately two times that of beta GMPO treated Barbie C mice. Next, thermal staining was used to detect apoptosis of cells in tumor tissues. As expected, the beta GMPO treated Immunocompetent Barbie C mouse mice had the highest rate of apoptosis. These results, therefore, strongly suggest that the beta GMPO can promote anti tumor immunity in HCC. Infiltration of macrophage CD4 positive T cell and CD8 positive T cell into solid tumors are thought to play a key role in tumor immunity. Therefore, to inve investigate the role of beta GMPO in the infiltration of these cells in HCC, tumor tissues from immunocompetent Barbie C mice were examined after cell sorting. The findings showed that the proportion proportion of CD8 positive T cells was greatly higher in the beta GMPO treated Barbie C group after tumor digestion, suggesting more CD8 positive T cell infiltration after treatment with beta GMPO. 
Results from immunofluorescence staining also confirm that a large number of CD8 positive T cells were infiltrated into the tumor compared to the control group. Since chemokines and the chemokine receptors are necessary for the recruitment of CD8 positive T cell into tumors, the mRNA expression levels of various chemokines secreted by tumor cells were assessed, including CCL5, CCL9, CCL17, CXCL9, CXCL10, and CXCL12, which were identified to recognize the migration of CD8 positive T cell in previous studies. Among the assessed chemokines, CCL5 exhibit, exhibited the most remark, remarkable change in expression between the control and the beta GMPO treated groups. Immunofluorescence staining and the Western bloating also confirmed that there was a significant increase in the expression of CCL5 in the subcutaneous tumors of mice in the BIGMPO group. Additionally, higher levels of a serum CCL5 was, were observed in the BIGMPO treated group. To confirm whether beta GMPO recognizes the infiltration of CD8 positive T cell by enhancing expression of CCL5, CCL5 was locked down in tumor cells. Next, tumor growth was evaluated in immunocompetent BBC mice compared to the beta GMPO treat normal tumor cells. The effect of beta GMPO was significant impaired in the beta GMPO treated tumor CCL5 knockdown group, as shown by the decrease in the size and the weight of tumors. In addition, there was a significant decrease in the infiltration of CD8 positive T cell in the beta GMPO treated tumor CCL5 knockdown group. Although the number was still higher than that in the beta GMPO untreated group. In addition, beta GMPO treatment was to promote the effector function of CD8 positive T cell by significant increasing the expression of CTF alpha and infra gamma in tumor infiltration CD8 positive T cells. Finally, we conclude that the beta GMPO could promote anti tumor immunity in HCC. Beta GMPO could promote infiltration of CD8 positive T cells. Beta GMPO could enhance the expression of CCL5 to induce infiltration of CD8 positive T cells. Beta GMPO could enhance the effector function of CD8 positive T cells. Okay, that's all. Thank you.